What's up, YouTube? 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 What's up, Jumbo Gang? And we back at it with another video. Man, I feel good being back. I know y'all feel good, man. I ain't been back in a long time, man. This been, it's been a little minute. It's been a long time. But you know how it go. I went through things. Now I'm back, you know. We not going nowhere. Today, I'm going to be at reacting to the 10 weirdest mansions in the world. Now, I know it's been some very big houses. You know what I'm saying? And like, just recently, I saw a Funny Mike video, it was, it was like a little Funny Mike video talking about somebody, you know what I'm saying, was living up in their crib, but you know what I'm saying. Basically what I'm saying is like, cribs be so big, you never know what could go on, you know what I'm saying. And basically you gotta watch the person who, you, who, who sell it to you, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, Let's further ado, let's get into this video. Hold on. Let's get into this video. Let's get into this video, you know. Not every mansion is a palatial 25 room estate. Some are designed with more eclectic tastes in mind. And while they're still amazingly comfortable places to live, they look they weird will though. Likely be more interested in the architecture than the couches and beds. Here are the 10 most bizarre mansions in the world. about rising water levels and melting ice caps, but what can you do about it? You can prepare for a nomadic water world lifestyle, but since that involves drinking your own filtered urine, you probably shouldn't. Instead, how about moving into a floating mansion that's powered by the sun, called Arca? This giant houseboat is essentially that, a modern-day Noah's Ark designed to protect its inhabitants against the worst and wettest Mother Nature has to offer. It's built on a series of hydraulic pilings that can either dig into the ocean floor or raise the house up above the waves. So if you grow up watching mm. Looney Tunes and wishing Daffy Duck would sell you a push-button home that could rise into the sky, here's your chance. And it will only cost you $5.5 million. It's not just for vanity's sake, though. The ability to raise your home higher and higher would prove mighty helpful as sea levels rise ever higher as well. Some climate experts predict sea levels could rise by as much as 7 feet come 2100, particularly in places like South Florida. Bro, I love to have a house on the beach, boy. That, that but that's weird. Rise with the tide will it, it's weird, though, because, like, what what if the world is in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You see how that is, though? Like, though, you know how. I don't know, bro. Like, the world... Like, what if the world... That's gonna be the first thing. You're gonna be sinking. You're gonna be... I don't know, bro. But that's nice, though. I wouldn't want to live in that thing on thing. But it looked like a nice vacation house. I ain't even gonna cap it to you. I wouldn't want to live in it. It, it is weird. That, that's weird to me. Plus, it's super sturdy windows are resistant to hurricane winds of up to 155 miles per hour. If climate change affects our waters as much as experts say it will, life-threatening hurricanes are likely to be commonplace soon enough. The that's the thing. That that's the thing that was on my mind. Them hurricanes, bro. Them hurricanes, bro. Them hurricanes ain't no joke. I'd be scared to live in one of them houses if if, if that was like the hurricane. You're a billionaire, you can get away with just about any housing design you have in mind. Many prefer normal looking mega mansions, but then there's Vladislav Dornin, the Russian CEO of the Mon Resorts. He decided one day that he would like to live in a giant spaceship, and so he had it built. What? You certainly can't fault the guy for a lack of imagination. Dornin's 28,500 square foot mansion is described on its architect's website as filming geometries emerging from the landscape and remaining partially embedded within the hillside. Apparently, it's not professional enough to just say our client lives in an Imperial Star Destroyer from Star Wars. What? Nevertheless, we're going to say exactly that. Because, come on, what else could this non-humble above possibly resemble? A 72-foot-tall lookout tower portion of this mansion simply makes it look even more like the preferred battle vehicle of the dark side. Hey, it is weird. Sound like the Ronin had space in mind. His request to his architect was simply, I want to wake up in the morning and just see blue sky. How mm. the architect got spaceship out of that when the sky is extremely not blue in space? I don't know, but I'm also super glad he did. Mm. Okay. As beautiful as many mansions are, they can suffer from monochrome patterns and an overall sameness. Not so in El Alto, Bolivia, where a local architect set out to create the most colorful, charismatic mansions he could imagine. That, hey, hey, architect hey, 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 h
That's something different. That's something different right there. I ain't even gonna cap it to you. That's something different. I ain't never seen nobody do that before a day in my life. That's something different. Like, the love. I don't know. Who is that? I don't know. Who wanna live in these, though? Like, who wanna... And everyday life, though? Like, spaceships. Maybe a castle run by an alien overlord. Maybe some kind of weird alien race that lives in the That's no half a million, goddamn. You know those creepy super villain layers built right into a mountain? Hell no! Hell no! Hell no, I wouldn't live it. What the hell? Y'all see that? It's on the mountains, bro. By the. Hell no, you wouldn't catch me. I don't care if I had a billion dollars, you wouldn't catch me living in that. It do though. It do. Exactly like stone slabs, and the roofs jut out far beyond the house itself, providing plenty of cool shade for its inhabitants. From a bird's eye view, it may be difficult to even see a house there Man, at all. Man, that dry the ass land. I wouldn't live there either. Part of the that's that's no weird. Plus, since the home stands on ten that is weird, plan, bro. Only neighbors are miles of Joshua Tree Desert. You'll be free to carry out all your evil schemes in absolute privacy. Inside, the home looks just as super ability. Boating ceilings, crazy spirals, alien looking chandeliers, and sharp edges no. appearing on the chair legs. Hey, that's nice though. I ain't gonna cap it to you. And it probably is once you hang out there. But let's face it, it looks like a place you'd extract top secret information from your enemy. In. For sure. Ooh. Three million? I want to live there, though. It looks nice and inside, though. I want to live there. When you live inside this house, you live there with a mouse. Don't worry, that's my one and only Dr. Seuss ride. But I had to do it because this mansion looks exactly like something the good doctor would have drawn for one of his books. Technically called the Ghost Creek Tower. What? The Ghost Creek Tower? What? You describe this thing. It's a house with another house built on top. Then there's another smaller house on top of the second house. What? The continues until there are four increasingly smaller houses piled on. Hey, hey, I ever seen, uh. Yeah, I ever seen, uh. What? What's that movie called? Uh. Dang, I forgot what it's called, bruh. I forgot what it's called. I forgot. Uh, Charlie, nah, was it Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. But look, though, the dude, like, with, with the little, uh, with the little, he had, like, a, a whole bunch of people that was living with him. It was sick. That, that house looked just like it, bro, a little bit. One another. If that's not head-scratching enough, sitting on top of the fourth house is a 185-foot tower. You may Dang. be wondering what Seussical masterpiece the designer ripped this house from. The answer is none of them. People don't call it the Seuss house because it came from any... Hey, say... If I had, if I had a place, if I, I literally, I literally, if I, if I could bring all my family with me on gang, I would, on gang, like. Your story, they call it that because it could have come from one. Though on gang. The character would live here, it would probably be the cat in the hat. I, I, I literally. It's a lot of tower space to store his giant hats. But what is it? You everybody will have a room, but everybody will be on top of it. As well as launching a radio station. 
He wants to call it Radio Free Ghost Creek. But mm. Radio Free Hope Bill makes far more sense. Technically, the Sears Tower isn't finished. Here come the edge, uh. We gotta watch this ad. I wish we could. I wish we could have skipped this ad. I wish we could skip this ad. Switch to Switch to I wish we could skip it. Advertising on YouTube helps me Skip it. I wanna know what y'all. Hey, hey, say. Hey, bro. There's less a place to live and more a poem to the sky. In other words, don't expect him to place it on the market anytime soon. Now, I, I, I wonder where this is. I'll pay a million bucks. I will pay you all in ducks. Sorry, since running is simply too fun to resist. Look at that. Who doesn't love Batman? Besides all the criminals of Gotham, I mean, McCain's Crusader is so popular, it makes perfect sense. I knew this Somebody was coming. Mm. Steve Rowe did just that, building his very own Bat Casa. That's it's tough. The Batman symbol displayed prominently out front. That said, it doesn't exactly look like the grim and dark Batcave we see in the movies and comics. Rather, this bizarre 1500 square foot mini mansion looks like something out of an art gallery with wavy white walls that simultaneously melt into one another in an attempt to this pull itself tough, apart like cheese in a mozzarella too. stick. This bizarre aesthetic continues as you venture inside. Everything looks like it was fused together with strange shapes, curves, and hundreds of sculpted branches twisting and dancing together to form a living space unlike any other. It almost looks like you're living in a plaster jungle, no more so than when you're sleeping in a bed built right into the plaster. That's, that's tough. Sense, it does seem like you're living in a grand cave. I live in there. I live in there. I live in there. The Bat Casa is so unique, it's become a local landmark. And you can stay there too. I'll be in briefly. While the Bat Casa is not on the market, you can rent it out for around $90 per night on average. One place with three bedrooms, two baths, and the craziest aesthetic this side of an abstract art gallery. And it looked like it had more than this. Low key. Living in the mountains is hard. Living near a mountain, however, inside a luxury mansion over 100 feet in the sky, surrounded Dang. by trees with no nosy neighbors, is both easy and desirable. Officially known as the Pausolaro House, many call this 10 story estate the Falcon's Nest instead, and for good reason. It features living corners that reach up to 124 feet in the air, mm. a 2,000 square foot solarium that looks like a nest, and a tower atop that might as well be a majestic falcon. Set against the backdrop that includes the 6,500 foot Thumb Butte Mountain, living here is essentially like living inside a movie. The for Falcon's show. current owners are asking for $1.5 million, which is a fair chunk of change, but whoever pays that much is getting some primo living space with 6,200 square feet that includes three bedrooms and four bathrooms, not to mention a main floor with a 360 degree view of the Arizona Boulder just below. Plus, the simple fact that you're living in a stylish version of Dr. Wiley's Skull Castle, if the Falcon imagery isn't your thing, makes everything extra worth it. For show. If you're a 90s kid who grew up on Animaniacs, you probably think living in a water tower is more a punishment than a luxury. Mm. Well, the genius architects behind the Sunset Beach Water Tower in Orange County, California, begged to differ. Oh, uh, hey, go back and watch Space Jam on oh, my mama. That's where that's where that's from. They turned a musty old water tower into a legitimately luxurious spot to live. The 87 foot high PCH water tower was once a regular old tower that stored upwards of 75,000 gallons of water at a time, more than 300 tons. But in the late 1970s, all the water went elsewhere, and the tower mm. just stood there by its lonesome, watching over us like a forgotten Greek god. That mm. is until the 80s, when some investors decided to revamp it into they a make it a house. That's they crazy. sold it to a retired fire chief named Gerald Wallace for $800,000. Wow. And then attempted to flip it for up to $8 million. Wow. And they settled for $1.5 million. Wow. Hey, I ain't gonna even figure I live right too. It's like you on you on top of the world. You on, bruh. Who don't wanna live, bruh? Eight million dollars? It's like you on top of the world. That's a win-win situation right there. Whoever well, living in that house. Four thousand dollars per week. The inhabitants mm. of this tower get a lot for their one point five million. Despite looking exactly like a water tower on the outside, inside you'll find twenty-eight hundred square feet of living space. This includes three bedrooms, a one hundred. Mm. Five gallon aquarium and a wow, it got an aquarium up in there? Up when it's time to 
dance, plus the view of Sunset Beach simply can't be beaten. Unlike Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, you won't feel stuck inside this place. Wow. Instead, you'll feel like a monarch, looking down on your subjects while enjoying all the finest parts of life. We all know about the traditional multi-floor home setup. Living room and kitchen on the bottom, and rooms on top. Well, here's a mansion that flips that setup on its head. Literally. Mm. Located in Beverly Hills, California, this upside-down house features its living quarters on the top That's floor. That's tough. Bedrooms on the lower level. That's probably a so the house look like it's in down down, down below, like. Right. So tired that you have to go to bed now. Why would you want to climb a bunch of stairs to get there? That's not the reason this 3.2 million dollar mansion's architects designed their house this way, though. The area they built on contains over 100 oak trees, all of which are federally protected from lumberjacks coming in with their axes and turning them into toothpicks. So to build a multi-floor estate, they had to build one of the floors directly into the hillside. And mm. since the only earth-level floor is entirely see-through, it wouldn't make for a ton of privacy when getting your sleep on. But if you're sleeping in the basement, surrounded by protective greenery, you have as much privacy as you need. Wow. So while it's not yeah, literally they're, they're, they're very proud. Else, like Dracula's Castle and Symphony of the Night, it's still mighty bizarre in its own right. Plus, it features you no underground, though. There's always a plus when looking for a comfortable place to lay your head. <laughs> Living in a spaceship is one thing, but living in a giant battery is quite another. But that's about the only way to describe Germany's heliotrope, both in shape and function. This 48-foot high mansion is literally battery-shaped, but its circular setup isn't just designed to be cool. The heliotrope actually rotates. That's so tough. Like novelty restaurants that and and it's people, people actually be up in it? It doesn't do so every day. It only rotates 180 degrees. Add to that, it's solar-powered. Mm. Its rotation follows the sun. It faces the sun during the cooler months and what? turns its insulated back to the star during the hot times. This means that at all times, the heliotrope is appropriately absorbing solar energy. It actually produces more energy than it uses, making okay. it the first home in history to do so. Okay. Sadly, 25 years after it was built, it remains one of the few homes that do. Architect mm. Paul Dish, who designed the heliotrope in 1994 and still lives there, it's a luxurious life, as well as a so. friendly one. The heliotrope is huge, with tons of rooms, as well as a garden terrace, viewing deck, and naturally a sun deck. Hey, who said saving the planet had to be uncomfortable? Well, that's the end of the video, y'all. Y'all leave a like and comment which house out of all this video that y'all watch, which house would y'all live in? Thank you for watching.